Hello and welcome to Cambridge Christian School. My name is Katie Belade and I'm the Advancement Coordinator here at CCS. I am standing in our front lobby and it's my pleasure to welcome you on this virtual tour of our school. Our school started in 1967, 53 years ago if you can believe it. We have been in Cambridge at this location the whole time and currently our student population is approximately 225 students from about 118 families. We have a rich history where God has been providing for us um, over the years and we are so excited to welcome you on that journey to see if CCS might be the right fit for your family. Our families come from over 30 different Christian congregations um, in our surrounding area and we have had the pleasure over all these years of educating students to be Christ-centered thinkers, Christ-centered communicators, and Christ-centered worshipers. We think if you can do those three areas well, especially focusing on being a passionate Christ follower, that you will see students that come out uh, well-rounded and equipped for the future, um, but also, most importantly, passionate about Jesus Christ and making a difference in this world. So with that said, I welcome you on our, our tour. I invite you to just journey with us, to ask questions, have a conversation, and see if Cambridge Christian School might fit your family's life and direction for the future. Let's take a look. So we're standing in our front lobby here, and it is quiet at the moment, but usually um, bustling and uh, the center for all activity here at the school. Uh, um, when we look down the hall here, um, we'll be walking this way, um, right straight away we see to God be the glory. And that is the reason why our school was created and what you will see throughout um, our school, both in the curriculum, but also in the passion of our parents and the kids, but especially our teachers and staff as well. So uh, follow me down the hall here. We are gonna be taking a walk uh, towards some of our more uh, central areas. Uh, we have a large gymnasium where our students uh, will gather for physical education, uh, but we also host um, assemblies and musicals and a variety of other school-wide activities as well. Um, as we go down the hall, you will also um, note art, is everywhere in our building. Uh, we always are proud to display our students' art, and uh, art is a big part of what we do, uh, both the um, visual art as well as dramatic arts. Uh, we have a Christmas uh, program every year as well as a spring musical. So behind me is the gymnasium, and we are gonna go take a look at that next. Our gymnasium, like I mentioned, is a host of variety of activity. Um, we are uh, pleased to have um, a good sized gymnasium so that all classes um, can have phys ed indoors um, weekly. Um, if the weather is not cooperating outside or the, or the activity needs an indoor space. And then we also hold our assemblies and we have musicals up on the stage and a variety of other school wide activities. Looking down this hall is headed towards our primary end of the school and we also have a few rooms that function towards more one-on-one -on -one or group activities. So one of these rooms is our Project B room and we also have a Project A room and our community room as well and this uh, year we also had an EA work room and these rooms function for one-on-one -on -one or group activities either specifically with an EA um, through our resource department or for some one-on-one -on -one extra help or they also provide areas for um, extracurricular activities such as our Battle of the Books team and we also have a variety of one-on-one -on -one programs that are student related. So one of these specifically are our reading buddy program where we take one of the younger students and pair them up with one of our older students to help encourage reading skills um, and do activities together. So for instance our junior kindergarten, senior kindergarten, grade one and two um, students will all participate in a reading buddy program and paired with older students to do activities once a week. So let's head down our primary wing. 
I love how you see our teachers' passion and creativity modeled as we go down the halls. Again, not only in the art, but also you can just see what the class is working on and how each teacher has their own flair and creative style. Uh, these wooden beams are part of our Grade 3 Charlotte's Web series, and every year that specific teacher um, would put up these beams and then start adding decorations to it as they read through Charlotte's Web. And it has become very well known for that teacher. And I love how you see examples of that all throughout our building, through our different teachers and their models of teaching. Uh, the one thing that we strive for is excellence, of course. And that is not only in um, the way that we pursue Christ, but of course in our education. So we help students achieve their best. And we do that through very traditional models of education, partnered with project-based learning and creative styles as well. Our students will learn cursive writing, they will learn time tables, but they will also engage in groups and talk about uh, how they can help wor world hunger. Our uh, grade twos a couple of years ago did a project where they figured out ways that they personally could raise money for world vision and help people who are overseas who are don't have the same resources that we do. And so you will find uh, a pairing of the traditional models and a lot of the traditional ways of learning, but also paired with these creative project-based learning styles as well. So we are almost at our kindergarten rooms and those are probably the most exciting rooms in the building. So we're gonna take you on a look inside those classrooms next. Here we have our junior kindergarten classroom. So our junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten classroom are set up very similarly and they are all encompassing spaces. And so our kindergarten students do not need to leave their classroom uh, traditionally throughout the day, um, except for at recess time. And they are provided with everything they need right here. As an entry to school, uh, it's very helpful that uh, they don't need to find a washroom you know down the hall or locate their backpack everything is in the classroom for them they have two washrooms uh, in their classroom and they also have their hooks in the classroom for them as well this entrance here is right off of the junior kindergarten classroom and it is specifically for the preschool students as well as our junior kindergarten students only so they are the only ones to use uh, this entrance uh, at the beginning of the day and when they go home. So behind me there is the entrance for our junior kindergarten and preschool students. And there is the preschool there. And then straight ahead of me is the junior kindergarten classroom. So when they come in the morning, it's quite easy for them. They come straight in that one entrance and only that entrance and then put up their coats and their shoes if they need to use the washroom which is encouraged many times a day it is right there in the classroom for them and then everything they need for the day is in this room so that is our junior kindergarten classroom this is our outdoor play area we have quite the playground and we have developed it over the years and especially recently uh, to be a wonderful uh, creative space for our students to play in this area uh, beside me here where the swings and the playground are, that is for our primary students only. So when you are in the younger grades, you are permitted to go in this area of the playground. Once you graduate to grade one, then you get the extreme privilege of going to the back. And the back is where um, our older students play. Now. Our primary students um, can still play in the younger area here um, for a few years after they enter grade one and many of them do so because they are friends with some of the kindergarten or um, other students that play there. Uh, the back here is where we have our um, hockey pad, another huge uh, playground structure, our gaga ball pit, we have an outdoor classroom, a walking track and more. You will also see in the back here are two portables and those are used on occasion as classrooms um, if needed. As we enter, you will see their hooks as well as the two washrooms that are in this classroom as well. And so our students have a space that is all their own. As you get a look at our kindergarten classrooms, you will notice that there is both a lot of space for creative free play and stations as well as structured areas for learning. 
So of course our kindergarten students do have tables where they would eat and do other activities with letters and writing and um, specific crafting. And then we also have carpet space for their morning rituals, Bible stories, and other things as well. A lot of creative and free play, a lot of stations, but kindergarten will also have that structure that provides them the knowledge to do uppercase and lowercase letters, counting to 100, and a lot of those really basic tools that they'll need to move into grade one to be um, starting to be confident in some of their reading and sight words and uh, writing and knowing how to be a student. They learn a lot of things in kindergarten that will prepare them for grade one, but also prepare them um, for all the math and the reading and the writing that they will need to do um, in the years ahead. Okay, so let's go on a walk back down the hall, um, away from our primary classes and towards the uh, senior end of our school. Uh, there's still a lot of great things that we haven't seen yet and discovered. So down here, you will find our resource department straight ahead. And as students come into our school, um, they will be assessed just to make sure we know exactly where that student is at. And sometimes our students need a little bit of extra one-on-one -on -one help. And if they do, then they generally have um, a weekly or bi-weekly appointment with our resource department in here. And that's one-on-one -on -one, and it's a great chance to catch that student up in certain areas or uh, provide some extra learning. And then here we have our library. So our library is very important to us. Uh, we love to encourage our students to read at any chance they get. And every grade will come into the library, uh, generally once a week, to either um, check out books or do some research or do some reading, uh, depending on the age level of the children. Um, but we have books at all ages and grades and every student will come to the library and um, have the opportunity to um, look through books and um, hear stories from their teacher or do some research. We do also have um, a Chrome cart that travels throughout the school and uh, computers from our Chrome cart um, are used in the older grades. Our younger students um, don't spend much time with technology um, other than on the RAS Kids reading program. And once you get into um, more of the senior and intermediate grades, um, then they will start to spend some time on the computer, either learning typing or as they get older, doing some researching and assignments on the computer as well. Uh, by grade eight, they are often um, pulling the computers out during the class and using them uh, right within the classroom to do an assignment. And so we don't, you won't see a computer lab in our school um, because it is a Chrome cart that uh, travels throughout the school. And so down this area um, is our senior wing. And this is where our grade seven and eight classrooms are, as well as a few more washrooms. And um, behind me, there is another um, entrance and exit uh, for our students. And that would be just for our senior students. Off to um, the right is our community room. Here we are in our community room. Our community room is used for a variety of purposes, uh, depending what we need at the time. Uh, we hold our info sessions generally in this room. Uh, we have some of our smaller activities perhaps. Uh, sometimes our Lego Robotics Club will meet and set up in this room. Um, our choir might practice in this room and sometimes we set it up so that we can have a smaller group of students um, working through some assignments and perhaps even uh, break away from their classroom uh, to do uh, specific learning in, in the community room as well. Here we are in one of our senior classrooms and this is our grade seven room. So if you are familiar with our school or have had uh, or known students here, you will know it's the grade seven classroom because of the ceiling. And so one of the grade seven um, art projects um, generally incorporates painting a ceiling tile. And it is a fun favorite moment uh, for our grade seven students and beautiful art for anyone who uh, comes in to take a look at the classroom. So this is one of our senior classrooms. 
we are almost through our walk through of Cambridge Christian School and I just want to thank you again for joining me as you see our senior classes behind us um, they represent so much that happens at our school uh, so many of the extracurriculars involve our senior students starting in grade 5 they can um, participate in our battle of the books our Lego robotics club and starting in grade 6 um, they can participate on our sports teams do volleyball and basketball, soccer and baseball, and a variety of other things. We have a skating program that happens throughout the year for all students, and then our senior students can participate in hockey as well. There's so much that happens in our building that can't be communicated through a video like this, and I wish that I could give you um, that full experience, but I look forward to the time when we might be able to meet in person. Thank you so much for taking this tour with me today. I look forward to the time when I can meet you and your family and explore whether Cambridge Christian School is the right fit for your family. We are a dynamic group of people and we have a passion for Christ and that is evident in everything that we do here at the school and in all of our curriculum. We seek to educate our students to be Christ-centered thinkers, Christ-centered communicators, and Christ-centered worshipers and I would love to share more about what that is like here at CCS. Thank you again.